Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite images from the 12 Days of Christmas song. It's going to be the partridge in a pear tree. And this video is made for young students and it's a draw along video. It's a direct draw. With my students we first listen to the song 12 Days of Christmas. I have a link under my description. If you click on the title of the video, it'll take you to the description. And there I'll have a link to the song that I show my kids. It's by the YouTube Super Simple Songs. Now I'm going to show you how I draw my partridge in a pear tree. To start the partridge, I'm going to find the center of my paper and I look from side to side and find the middle and then I look from top to bottom and I find the middle. So the very center. And from there, I'm going to jump up halfway. So I find the middle and I find the top of my page here. And I'm just going to go halfway. And I'm going to put a dot. Or this would be one fourth of the page. So I would come up if you were to break it into fourths. From here, I would just make it a little bit bigger. This is going to be the eye of the partridge. Then I'm going to draw a circle around that. It's very close. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to put just over a little bit and put a number one. And I'm right at the center of this eye and I'm just going to put a number one. And then I'm going to come out straight right down the middle. This will form his beak. And then I'm going to do a diagonal up and a horizontal across. And then from here, I'm going to take, touch the beak and draw right around the eye, pretty close to the eye, and come back to the beak. This is a different coloring around the eye. It has a different shade than the rest of his body. Then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to come up, around, and then stop. And under the, the beak, I'm going to just do a diagonal line. Now we're going to form the wing. So I'm going to do a curve line. So below this, I'm going to come in and almost a C curve and I stop. So I start at this head line down and around, but I don't continue my whole C, the C shape. From here, I'm going to come down diagonal and then I'm going to come around to connect. So it forms almost an upside down tear shape or teardrop. We can add some diagonal lines coming in for long feathers. This will form the wing and these are the long wing feathers. And then we can add some texture which is just curves and these are the short wing feathers. Let's add some pattern. Now we're going to curve down around for a tummy. So I'm coming down. I'm going to curve this. I'm curving around and right to the feather, right to the last wing tip. So I curve down, around, and right to the wing. So this line comes down straight and curves slightly to meet. So I have my partridge in the tree. You can add a little bit of a tail here if you want to have a tail come out. Two diagonal lines and then just kind of connect it, the shorter tail. Now we're going to do the pear tree. For the pear tree, I'm going to go directly below the bird and I'm going to do a long letter V. This is going to form one of the branches. I'm going to add another line in front of it. 
And I'm going to do another V, but it's kind of curved to the side. I'm doing another diagonal line, and this will form the trunk of the tree. I curve down to the bottom of the page. This forms a branch. This forms a branch. This will be a branch now. Let's do another diagonal line. And we'll do another V shape here. Down and up. So I have a branch here. And another diagonal curving down to the bottom. The pear has a single trunk and then it comes out and branches out to our to the rest of the tree. And we can make these branches as they get a little bit thinner if you want to. They kind of just disappear into the leaves. So I'm just going to have a curve, a curve. They're just disappearing into the tree. Now we're going to do a cloud-like shape around the edge of our page to form the tree boundary. I'm just going to curve down. It's almost like a rainbow. Curving, curve, curve, curve. This is almost a U shape here. We can do some U shapes at the bottom. And I can curve on my edges. So we have our boundary of our tree. Now we're going to do some pears. I start off with an kind of an elongated upside down U or almost like a small N curve. And then we're going to come down and out. And then we're going to do a larger U or almost circular shape for the bottom of the pear. So the pear shape is smaller at the top, but it's very curvy. And then it comes down and around almost like an apple or an orange. And then it has a narrower tip to it. It gets thinner as it comes up. We can put a slight curve. And then I do a curve underneath. It's almost like a end curve here. It's just an upward, almost rainbow arch. And we can add some detail to the pear and just put a few little speckles. So there's one of our pears. Now you can add more pears to your tree. And I don't have them always straight. This is very vertical. So if you tip your paper, you can make it a slightly sideways to make it more natural. You do your end curve, then you come down and around. And add your detail. And if you overlap them, you can even overlap them where one is behind the other. Like so. And I'll put another one up higher over here. You can put your pears wherever you like on your tree, and you can put as many on as you'd like. And now we're going to decorate it. If you do want to put your pear in a pot, you could put your pear tree in a pot, or you could have it come straight down right off the page. If it's in a pot, I come out on the bottom, round it, like so, and connect down. And for my students, we're going to use crayon. We're going to do a crayon resist, and then we're going to paint it in. So we're going to use some green crayon. And when you do a crayon resist, you push really hard on the crayon. And for the crayon resist, I'm just going to draw really hard lots of leaves for my pear tree. And this will form an interesting pattern. 
So to do the leaves, I do a curve, and then I curve the opposite way and put a line down the middle. Then what I'll do is I'll paint on top of this with some light green. And the pattern here will still show, even though I'm putting green on top, because I'm pushing really hard. And I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. And this is what it looks like right after I colored it. And I'm gonna go ahead now and add some watercolor paint on top to create a little resist. But I like layering colors and materials like crayon and paint together. Uh, but if you're at home and just have markers or just have crayons, just go ahead and do color it the way that you'd like at home. If you look here on the partridge, I'll show you a close-up of a real partridge, but what I used is gray, brown, and black crayon, and then the eye and the beaker, a bright red-orange color, and he has this black stripe coming down through the face and on the tummy. And his tummy area is with um, gray and light brown, little bits of brownish orange color for feathering. So he's a combination of different colors. He's got a lot of pattern and texture. You'll see in the real one that I'm gonna show you. But you can color your partridge actually any color you'd like. And then I did some different values in my pears as well. And here is the completed partridge in a pear tree with paint. I did just a light watercolor wash on top. I use pan watercolors, just the simple set like this. And then I put a little bit of accent of gold. You can see it shimmer. I just think things that are holiday related look great with a little bit of gold or some sparkle and it really looks pretty. It gives an accent to the leaves. It's like the leaves sparkling in the sun. And that was just a metallic tempera paint here. I hope you enjoy this lesson and I wanna thank all of my patrons for supporting this channel. If you would like to support this channel, you can click on the title of the video and that will take you to my Patreon account. And there you'll find all of the images I used in this video. You'll find the black line sketch of my partridge in a pear tree to download to use with your students or to color for yourself. And you'll also find my color image of the partridge in a pear tree. So enjoy and I hope you have happy holidays.